Då ska jag snabbt gå igenom lite om vår examinationsuppgift och i kursen tillämpad IOT 1DT305. Och I'll go straight to it. Vi kommer att använda oss av HackMD. Så gör er bekanta med den här. Jag då ska visa själva vår projektreport och jag vill bara säga att det finns en möjlighet att det kommer vara ändringar i den här längs resans gång. Men i stora drag här nu så är tanken med, med kursen här att vi gör en, att ni alla ska göra en tutorial som ni sätter upp som, som om ni hade beskrivit ett, 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 ett projekt. Och först då öppna ett account på HackMD. Ni kan använda ert studentkonto som första choice. Jag svingar inte någon till det. Använd då templaten står det här. Det är nummer två. Templaten kommer lite nedanför här. Och det viktiga här nu är att checkboxes need to be fulfilled och det betyder att under varje sektion här nu i templaten så har jag gjort checkboxes så att ni ska kunna veta precis vad som krävs för att bli godkänd. Den här lilla stjärnan här menas advanced level och det är ni som då har presenterat ett arbete innan vecka två och diskuterat detta under en workshop och satsat på ett högre betyg. Ni, ni ska också se till att stjärnmarkeringarna då blir ifyllda. Publish your tutorial as seen in figure one och kollar vi här nu då så ser ni att när ni gör detta i HackMD så när ni är klara med den då så ser ni till att ni publicerar den och sen kommer ni få en liten link sen som ni kommer använda när, och, och, och skicka in i Moodle-systemet då. Och sen upload your tutorial according to the instructions on the learning platform. Of course, be awesome. Eh, ni skriver denna på engelska eller svenska. Det är lite upp till er. Jag skulle rekommendera att ni skriver den på engelska. Det blir betydligt mer öppet och tillgängligt för alla om vi håller den på engelska i första hand. Men jag vill bara nämna det. Det är inget krav. Ni måste inte. Och eh, liten bonus då. Och vi har funderat länge på hur jag ska göra på ett bra sätt här. Min idé här nu är att vi ska bygga upp en schysst bank här nu. I och med att det är första gången vi kör den här kursen. Och alla ni som gör goda exempelprojekt. Och då menar jag ni som satsar på ett högre betyg och gör ett bra projekt. Ni kommer också att bli publicerade på vår kurshemsida som goda exempel. Så detta följer med som en bonus då. Några exempel för inspiration. Ni hittar en miljon till sådana här om ni söker runt lite grann och ni kan rinna där. Med de här exemplen vill jag bara vara tydlig med att jag menar inte att de här skulle vara automatiskt godkända i den här kursen eftersom de inte innehåller de här underpunkterna jag har gjort utan det ser det som ett inspiration och detta är lite av min sinnebild med den här uppgiften istället för att ha en akademisk tung uppgift med referenser källor så gör vi en straightforward tutorial hands on just go okej okay, våran template det som ni ska göra då när ni, när ni gör den här uppgiften är att det enklaste är att ni tar den här texten kopierar in den i ett eget dokument och sen fyller ni egentligen bara i och försöker svara på frågorna därefter. Och likaså när ni utvärderar era studenters, medstudenters arbeten. Då tittar ni på den här templaten och kan i stort sett bara fylla i. Har jag uppfyllt alla de här sakerna? Title, of course you need a title. Your student name and student credentials. You 
have a short student credential name, which is something like a number and a couple of letters. Uh, you write your short project overview, uh, obviously what the project is about. Think of this section as, as the introduction part. Uh, and also try to give an approximation on, on how long the project will take to do. Uh, under the objective, so describe where, uh, why you have chosen to build this specific device and what purpose does it serve. Uh, it doesn't need to be very advanced. Uh, what I need you to explain is why you chose it. It can be a pretty simple uh, um, reasoning behind this. Uh, what purpose does it serve? It could be that, oh, I want to know where, if my plants are still alive or if um, I have gotten a mail in my mailbox or, yeah, I know, um, if there are any uh, animals home or not, or, but some purpose. Um, and what insights do you think it will give? Well, what's the added benefit of, of that new insights? Uh, so try to think about that. If you don't have a clear idea now, well, you could just copy and take another idea and make it your own. That's totally okay, as long as you embrace it and write it up in a report form, uh, like in this tutorial. Next section, you need to explain all the material. So um, all the sensors, uh, all wiring and all material you need to uh, complete your project. And this is a tutorial, so it means that someone else should be able to take and look at your tutorial as a manual and do it themselves. So what I need is the list of material, what the different things do. So you have sensors, you have a PyCom device and or perhaps something else. Uh, you, you might use an Arduino and connect that with the PyCom device. I don't know. And just some short specifications on, on these things. And also, I think this is, it, is, it might be important and where you bought them and how much they cost. That's a good thing. I mean, if someone wants to do this again, well, please be as specific as possible. That's, that's even, even better. Just as an example here, I grade it out a little bit. So perhaps you should put this in a table. Oh, it's just as an example. And also some pictures, all, always nice. Next section, computer setup. I want you to explain which IDE you have chosen and uh, how the code is uploaded and steps that you needed to do for your computer, like if you installed some drivers or Node.js, etc. This obviously differs between uh, Mac OS, Windows and Linux, and also depending on which version you have of your operating system. But Write it down and that might be a helpful advice for someone else that tries to approach your project. And at least it's very important that you show which environment, which yours, you are um, you're in. And then putting everything together. Um, well, at least in this section, you need a circuit diagram. And I'm just saying, it can be a hand-drawn diagram. Just pen and paper, draw some very simple wiring. And I've connected this sensor to pin 8 and pin 10. And this is the ground and this is um, uh, the 3.3 volt or whatever. So it can be very simple. Just take a picture or scan uh, your hand-drawn painting. Uh, even better if you make it in... Um, uh, on your computer in a CAD program or just a drawing. Um, now we're at the first star advanced level. If you want to go to the advanced level, you need um, to do some kind of electrical calculations. I'm not specifying exactly how they should be or how uh, advanced they should be, but you need to do some kind of calculation. Either uh, you use, you uh, calculate the required power or voltage drop or you make um, a calculation of a voltage divider uh, you make a calculation on uh, the wiring you have and and how um, how thick they need to be etc etc or how many resistors or the power requirement of the device but some kind of electrical calculation it's needed for the advanced level and then we come to the platform. Describe your choice of platform. And um, 
and also if you've tried different platforms it can be good to provide a comparison um, so if you have a cloud or a local installation uh, do you plan to use a paid subscription or a free one describe the different alternatives on going forward if you want to scale your idea so let's say that you have a wonderful idea here so and the and the answer is that you don't you don't need to scale your idea it's okay to just say that i'm just playing around and um, well if i'm going to scale this up or well, i would have probably done I, I need to take it a totally different route um, so in the basic level here is describe the platforms in terms of functionality what can the platform do and what are you doing and the, the advanced level is that you have to explain and elaborate what made you choose this platform especially that means that you need to put up some kind of comparison between different platforms and then we come to the code section this is an important section because i mean the code if you don't provide the code it will be impossible to um, to redo your project and most of you are uh, going to write MicroPython uh, well I, I would say I think all of you um, so uh, it's it's pretty easy to just insert this code here and just going to show you this is a markdown language uh, which will you will you will learn it's it's a very easy language and you will you will get your head around it no problem but just to elaborate on when you create a code block in markdown uh, you have three little atmos atmostropes okay i can't <laughs> can't pronounce that uh, apostrophe ap yeah and um, then just defining the language that's python and the equal sign says that you want a line number and but don't worry if you just copy this template you will get the code block for free so just import the code and copy paste and it's done uh, in this section i really don't want um, any of the libraries that you use only your code so let's see this as your main code not anything more than that and um, then <coughs> it will be too much either otherwise so you'll have to write which libraries you're using so if you write uh, 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 some kind of code that uh, uses the one wire library obviously you need to mention that you i've used the one library one wire library and uh, uh, at found at this github address or whatever then transmitting the data and connectivity you need to at least say how often the data is sent which wireless protocols did you use this is important uh, did you use wi-fi lora well perhaps you used bluetooth or narrowband iot so please explain what you did use uh, and also which transport protocols were used and then i'm talking about mqtt webhook etc so um, you don't really need to explain the reasoning if you're just going to like the the, the main the, the the basic level um, just explain but just show what you did that's all um, if you want to go to a high grade uh, when we go to the advanced level you have to elaborate on the design choices regarding data transmission and wireless protocols well for instance if you use LoRa <laughs> you will have a long range uh, and low power but well you can't send very much data uh, you're very limited to the amount of data if you want to send a lot of data Wi-Fi might be the better choice well you get the point you have to elaborate on which choices you did during the way and also it's not only that easy that you can just choose LoRa or uh, or Sigfox uh, you can make choices even within that protocol how what how it's the data rate and how much bytes do you send and how often etc and then we go to the uh, maybe one of the most interesting parts and pre present presenting the data so you have to show what you do with the data so in this this section visual examples on how the dashboard looks so just take a screenshot like okay this is my dashboard you can use PyBytes, you might use my devices kn you might use thinkspeak or a flora of, of different other services that that you can use or 
you use a local installation of Telegraph, Influx and Grafana and you provide some, some screenshots, pictures of, of your dashboard in Grafana. But just some visual pictures. This is like how I present my data. Also explain how often the data is saved in the database. Um, and then for like the advanced level, uh, once again, a little bit more of an explanation is needed. So you have to explain the choice. So explain and elaborate on why you did what you did, not only present what you did. And also uh, in the advanced level, uh, I want some kind of automation or trigger of the data. So if temperature rises above a certain threshold or below or if um, data is not received for a certain amount of time, something happens because of something. So you need to at least do something that in includes some kind of automation. This could be in the cloud. It can also be on the device, but some kind of automation trigger. And then finalizing the design. This is the conclusion part. So just show the final results of your project. So a nice picture of, of, uh, of your device. Uh, okay, this is how it all went. Uh, just give your final thoughts on how you how you think the project went and uh, well what could you have been doing what could you have done in another way if you have unlimited resources would you have like used 10 PyCom devices and built them together and linked them or would you have rather bought another sensor. So just short elaboration on, on that. So show the final results of the project. Uh, pictures really good and write that up. Uh, also, the next level here is a video presentation, um, which um, you can record and uh, just link in a YouTube video or something when you explain and show off your, your project on um, a video setting as well. So I think that's about it for the project report and um, to template. So just to say again, in the table of contents, this is how you write your tutorial um, and here the template starts. So if you, when you're going to write your report, copy and paste and copy the markdown code into a new document and, and off you go. Thank you.